Yo, what's up there, poker family? Just want to take a couple minutes to get ahead of what some people are going to say. My uh, medical aid in dying is scheduled for this week. And I know you guys have seen me out there on the tables and playing. And, you know, my opponents are going to say, look, here was a perfectly healthy young man. But what they don't see is behind the scenes, I'm on morphine six or seven times a day. I've got tumors that are growing in my lungs at the surgical site where the amputation was performed in my kidneys. I can't breathe and you know, I can get up for a few hours of poker, but I'm sleeping 12, maybe 13 hours a day a lot of the time. And then I wake up, I go out, I play cards, I come back. I've had several respiratory attacks that leave me on the floor and I can't breathe. I can't catch my breath and I'm delirious. I literally this morning thought Kanye West had poisoned me and it doesn't make no sense, of course, but my caregiver, you know, she knows to roll with it and not to argue with me when that happens because when the brain is deprived of oxygen, well then at that point, the brain no longer functions normally. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to put it out there just because someone looks healthy. You don't know when they go home what they're facing. And in my case, I've just been getting worse and worse and worse since I left the World Series of Poker after my first ever respiratory attack. So, you know, I want to thank the community for the amazing support. I've met so many really amazing people and I've had so many people reach out and tell me I've helped them in one way or another or that I'm an inspiration. I've had people tell me that they're getting checked by doctors. And so, you know, the whole thing was a victory. And just cause I'm gone, I don't want anybody but he's saying that, you know, look at this young man right here. He was living a good life and he ended it because those of you who've met me, you, you know if I could keep doing what I was doing, well, I would definitely keep doing it. It's just been such an amazing experience to help other people. But again, you know, when I go home, I'm in... I'm in so much pain. I'm on morphine. I hate drugs, except for weed. I'll be clear. You know, I, I support marijuana use for cancer patients or recreation, but it's just, I don't want anybody to take my story and use it the wrong way. Because at the end of the day, you guys see my tough guy face and I put it on and I come and I play at the table with you for three or four hours. And yeah, I laugh and I have a good time. But at the same time, I have to disappear several times a game to dose myself with morphine. And at times, you know, it's, it's hard to even keep playing. And poker is really not involving. I'm, a, I'm out of breath just walking to the bathroom or from my bed to the couch. So, you know... I just want to head off any reports or anything that may come out because, you know, anything divisive like this, people are going to use whatever they can against you. So again, guys, you've been amazing. Thank you so much. I'm really happy I could be any kind of a help at all. And, uh, you know, I, I had an incredible run and it was just, it was a great time and I wish that it wasn't over. But it it has to be because I can't keep living like this. All right, man. Or, you know, poker fam. <laughs> Yo, it's been real. I love y'all. And just because I'm gone, that doesn't mean that sarcoma awareness needs to be gone. 
you know, it just means that my bucket list tour is over. But, you know, please keep spreading the word. Keep grinding. And, uh, you know, those of you who give back, you know, keep your charitable efforts going. Together we do make a difference whether it feels like it or not. All right, I'm out.